to use our Cricut pens. Hi, and welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey with Creative Fabrica, and today we are learning how to use our Cricut pens. If you are a Cricut beginner, this is perfect for you. I'm gonna show you how to set up for writing in Cricut Design Space, and then show you how to actually set up the pens in your Cricut. Plus, I'm going to show you five Creative Fabrica fonts that you can use with your pens. So if you're ready, let's jump into Cricut Design Space. So let's start with our basic on how to set up and change over into pens. Now, if we are using a text, this one's pretty simple. I'm just going to write out my text and you're going to want to go into your fonts. And first you're going to want to find a font that is meant for writing. Now we have fonts over on Creative Fabrica that you can utilize your pens with. That will be really similar to a true writing font on Cricut Design Space. However, they are double lined fonts and you will see a difference when I go to run these. To find your writing fonts, you can go over to your filters and you can go to writing. This is going to let you know which ones can be used for pens. So we're gonna go with this one since this is a Cricut writing font so that you can see it. And so that we know it's the Cricut writing one, we'll actually name it the name of the font. So we have our first writing one picked. Now what's nice is when you're using the Cricut writing fonts, it actually goes ahead and changes it for you. So it already put it into the pen option. If you're not using a Cricut font, you're going to have to do two steps. So let me go ahead and show you that as well. Now, if you grab a text box and you wanna use one of the fonts that you have, you'll go into your system and you'll search for the font you want. I'm gonna choose Hand Real. This is the font we have on Creative Fabrica. And I'll type out the name just like we did with Alyssa. And what you'll notice here is this says basic cut. So this would cut like you're cutting vinyl or paper. It's gonna cut all the way through. We don't want that. We want it to write. So unlike this first one that we did where it automatically changed to pen for us, we have to manually go in and do that. So you'll go ahead and hit basic cut and then change it over to pen. Now, if we make this really large, you'll see it's double lined. So it will end up going over twice. However, when you're using your pens, typically you keep these kind of small. So when they are small, the double lines are hard to see anyway with the pens. And this will also depend on which pen you're using. Now, if you wanna change the color or the style of pen, you're going to go back up to the operation and click on this side box. From here, you can use the drop down to show you all the different types of pens that Cricut has, as well as the different colors that go with it. So if I change over to glitter gel, it will give me the colors for glitter gel and you'll be able to change the color as well. This is important for if you're doing a project with a lot of different colors. So I will do this where I, I change out my colors. Let me go and change it to one that I actually have. So I have the gel pen and I have it in cornflower. So I have to look for that one, which doesn't even come up, <laughs> but it's like an aqua blue. So we'll just leave it like that. So that is how you will change the colors as well as the size of the pen. It's over in this drop, this box over to the side and then the drop down. Now I wanna show you five fonts that you can download on Creative Fabrica that will work really well with your pens. So let me go ahead and get those up for you as well. So here are some fonts from Creative Fabrica that we have that will work really well with your pens. So I have Hand Real, American Signature, Monogamy, Florida Palm, and The Hand. So these are great to download and use with your pens. Now, if you are making a card or if you are using your pens on a design, let's say you wanted to cut out a shape and place this on, you would grab your shape and of course send it to the back so that we can layer our fonts on top. I'm gonna change the color to white so it matches our paper. I'm gonna make this six by six. And then what you wanna do is you're going to bring on your fonts. Once you have them all on your paper or wherever you want them, you're going to want to make sure you attach these. Don't flatten them because that will make it a print then cut design. You want them to be attached. That way when you go to make it, it knows to cut after it has done all of your design and it also knows where to put the design onto your paper or wherever you're using your pens. You also can use pens with regular designs. It doesn't have to be just for fonts. 
So here I have some cute beach designs and of course you can change these to pens as well with the operation. It's going to be exactly the same. However, you definitely can see those double lines here. So just keep that in mind when you are using your pens. It's not going to fill in that pattern. It is going to make it a double line pattern. But these are great if you wanna make like homemade coloring books for your kids or if you wanna color them in yourselves. These are awesome. And for example, if you have a design like this, the king and the queen, if you go and you change all of this to pen as well, it's just going to give you the outline. So it's not the double line, but it is an outline of your design. So it's not going to fill in all of those places. It's going to just give you a very basic outline of the design. Now, again, you do need to attach this to something or I can show you when you go to make it, it is going to pop it off onto another mat. So what I can do is I can actually just go ahead and grab two circles. Again, I'm gonna make them white and I'm gonna pop these two behind our two designs. You can align them to the center and attach. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So now we have everything ready to go. First, you're going to select your medium. I'm going to use medium cardstock here. And you're going to see it's gonna say load black 0.4 pen into clamp A. Now, depending on what pens you chose, it's going to change it every single time it finishes. So coming up, it says aqua pen, dusty rose, and the red infusible ink. So you have all of these different options here and it's going to tell you and prompt you when to switch those out. So let's go ahead and get our pen loaded in and then I will show you how it prompts you to change it. So with our pen facing down, there's a little arrow. You're gonna place that right in and close our clamp A. It's as simple as that. It should be a snug fit and when you pull up, your marker should not be loose. You also shouldn't be putting so much pressure on it where you're pressing down. It's pretty snug once it goes in, but you shouldn't be forcing it down onto that clamp. And once you load in your mat, you can press C and it will start to write. So it doesn't test like it does with the blades where it will check to see kind of if you have the right blade inside. It's just assuming that you have the pen there. So make sure that you have the pen there. And it's also not checking the color. So make sure you have what you need in the right time and matching your design on Cricut Design Space. My other suggestion is when you are storing your pens to store them upside down with the cap or the lid at the bottom. So that way the ink is always flowing towards the top. So I'm gonna let this design finish and then let's jump back into Cricut Design Space. So once it is done with its first amount of drawing, it's going to give you this pop-up. So it doesn't tell you to unload your mat, you're just switching out the pen. So let's go ahead and switch out our pen. I think you only need to see this done once and then I'm going to let it continue doing all the rest of the drawing. So to swipe out your pens or switch them out, we're going to unlock the clamp and remove our pen, put our cap back on so it doesn't dry out. And then I'm just placing the new pen in just like before, making sure it's snug but not pressed down and closing that clamp A. And now I will press C again or the play button depending on which maker or machine you have. And now it will start its next set of writing. And you'll do this over and over depending on the types of pens and colors that you choose. Now, when you are done with all of your writing in your pens, you don't need to do anything when it comes to cutting. It will just automatically start cutting your paper as long as you have the right blade inside. And here is our cutout with our different fonts. You have your Cricut font up top and then the five fonts from Creative Fabrica and they all worked really beautifully with our pens. Here is our drawing and of course you can color this in. You can also make really cool stickers with these and your pens can be utilized for cards and so much more when it comes to paper crafting. The pens are a lot of fun to use once you learn how to use them. Thank you for joining me today as we learned how to use our Cricut pens. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more crafty videos, and send this to one of your crafty friends who needs to learn how to use their Cricut pens. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.